Okay, try it now. Do not rotate your hip with the uppercut. You should throw one, two, and rotate your hip only with a third punch. Do it slowly. One, two, three. Good boy. Jump and go and go. Throw your hand. Throw it. Throw it. Like this. Misha, you see, you hurry. You threw the hook, but your foot stayed behind. One, two, three, and jump. One, two, three, jump, but do not bend. Misha, hold your elbow right here. Please, look, your pelvis goes back and your elbow goes up. Well done. One more time. Okay, okay, that's good enough. You turn now. Move. Footwork, footwork. Boom, boom. Make very short jumps. Stay high on your toes. Okay, okay. Keep your back foot under you. Do not stop your hand after the uppercut. Emir, one, two. There should be a good punch, an uppercut to the chin. Shorter movements. Shorter and faster. Swing it and use your hip for the hook. Yes. Yes, keep the right foot under you. Well done. It's getting more interesting. What we did today is a triple punch with the lead hand. Get into the distance. Make him put his gloves together and then power punch. Jab, uppercut, hook. There could be variations, but the classical variant is to start with a short jab, then the uppercut with a small hip rotation, and then the power left hook. With the first straight punch, the opponent puts his gloves together, then the uppercut, he places his elbows together to block it, and we finish the combination with a powerful left hook by passing his block. We start the combination from a long distance. The jumps are short, they merge into one long smooth movement. We divide it in three short movements. Boom, boom, boom. When we throw the uppercut, the shoulder goes up a little because there is no rotation here. The shoulder goes up and covers your chin. Then you use the gravity to transfer your falling shoulder movement into hook. Use the gravity to accelerate the hand for the hook. After the combination you need to perform a defensive movement, of course, slip to the side for instance, because if you stay in the line of fire after the hook, you'll get open. Swing to the side or jump back. Can you throw it moving backwards? Of course. Slow down the opponent's charge with two first punches and then throw the power punch. It should land behind his glove. The ankles play a pivotal role here. Your ankles should be rigid. The first punch is thrown while you're still in the air. No hip rotation with the second punch. If you rotate the hip with the second punch, you'll have a hard time throwing the hook. That's why there should be no hip rotation for the first two punches. Straight uppercut hook and pow powerful hook. Use maximal rotation for the hook. Use it. The fist is clenched all the time. The uppercut lands with the first knuckle in a vertical position. Okay, use it guys.